welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. I have a very busy day today. Um, I was supposed to be at my uh, OB appointment today. I had a glucose test, um, but I had to reschedule that because my baby's not feeling well. Um, so I have to take her to her doctor today. I have an appointment for 11, 15, so I have about an hour to get ready, get her ready and get out of the house. Oh, I am so out of breath lately. I will be, I'll be 25 weeks on Sunday. So we are more than halfway through my pregnancy and I'm just so tired. Um, we're getting our flooring put in today. Finally, finally came in, you guys. I'm so over the flooring we have downstairs. No matter how much I clean, it just still looks dirty, so I'm over it. I'm still drinking my coffee. You know me, you know I don't finish my coffee. I never finish it. I make it because I need it, and I end up not finishing it. Um, so I figured instead of filming after I get ready, I just get ready with you guys. Um, I did post a poll on Instagram asking what you guys wanted to see, and I got a lot of responses for makeup stuff. Um, I'm not really going to be filming tutorials. I don't really do like dramatic eyes and whatnot anymore. I stick to very natural makeup, fast, fast stuff that works with mommy life. So I'm going to get started. Um, I'm using this for a best skin. I love this foundation. Lately, I've been having a hard time figuring out like what foundation I want to use. I have moisturized with my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. Mm, it has SPF. That's why I use it because I haven't really been liking anything. Um, lately, I've been liking using my hands. It just looks so good. So, this foundation is pretty light. Um, it's buildable, but pretty light coverage. Looks very natural, hence best skin. Um, it's from the Sephora collection, and I really like it. Um, the Sephora VIB sale is going on this week, so I ordered... I ordered the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Try that out, cause I tried out the NARS Natural Radiant one recently, and I hated it. Not a fan. I also tried out the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue. I like this, but the shade is a bit off for me. I'm not a fan. I did my eyebrows with. The Carmel Brow Duo Powder. I've also been using my Finger 4 Concealer. Uh, let's see, what else have we done in the house? So we ripped out that cabinet that I told you guys about in the kitchen and we patched up the wall. So that is ready for the open shelving that I want to put in. I just I haven't really found a shelf that works beside one. Um, and they sell it at Target, but it's not like wide or deep. So I don't know if that really works for a kitchen, but it's the perfect size and perfect color. Other than that, I haven't found anything. Hi, Bubs. What's up? You gonna steal mommy's makeup? Yeah. No, you're not. Can I close it? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Um, I didn't tell you guys what concealer I use. I use the um the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the pot. Yeah. I've been liking that one. And then I just set my under eye with the Kat Von D. What is this? Um, refill from the. Shade and Light Contour Palette. So I have the shade Lyric and put on my face. I like the Peach Blur Too Faced Powder, but my daughter broke it and it's chipping. 
so it could just break any day now. Yeah, baby. Mm, I don't think that's a good idea. I like white powders. I do not like to bake. Oh my god. So, like baking makes my skin crawl. Yeah, we don't like it. Yeah. I just feel like it's too heavy. Um, it just, it's not for every day. Um, even when I do like a full yeah. face for occasion, yeah. I don't bake my face anymore. I just don't like the way it just feels. It feels disgusting. Plus, I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. I really like this one. It has a sheen to it, so it just looks very really nice on the skin. currently doing a floors, so I'm going up here for a little bit. I like to bring my blush all the way in, and this is a very natural one. What is this? The Kylie Jenner Pink Powder. Pink Power? Yeah, Pink Power blush. Honestly, the only thing I like from Kylie's makeup line is the blushes. And I put a lot on because it's just way throughout the day. And then I hit my nose. I'm just using the same bronzer on my eyes. That's it for my face. Um, I don't use highlighter anymore. I don't know, is that a thing? Is that still a thing? I don't think so. I think people don't, don't highlight as much as they used to. So, to set my face, I go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then for mascara, I went back to the L'Oreal Voluminous. I just really love this stuff. But today we are also getting our new vanity put in for the half bath. Um, so stay tuned for a video on the bathroom, like a full makeover video, decorate with me kind of thing. Um, for my lips, I use, what is this, the NYX Retractable Liner in Natural. This is the best shade, I feel like, for my skin tone. And it's my go-to. So I did my hair this morning. Um, I just use a straightener and then I just straighten the ends. Um, I prefer that look. So I'm gonna finish my coffee, get my baby ready, and go to her appointment. Let's see what I got. Hi! You got makeup on? Oh yeah. my god, can you see it? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of lip gloss. So I'll see you guys. Um, when they get the flooring started, I'm hoping I can get a few clips. I don't know if I'm going to stay here or not. <sighs> so we just finished her doctor appointment. And it's just a stomach virus. She should be good in a few days. Um, we're going to head back home and see if they got started on the flooring. I'm excited to see it. Are you excited to go home? Yeah. yeah? Okay, let's go. <laughs> So 
before showing you guys the final result, I wanted to go back and show you guys what the house looked like when we first bought it, as well as when we moved in. We ended up going for LVP, which is luxury vinyl planks, and we really loved the beveled edge plank, which is why you can see every individual plank instead of it being seamless. That's something I really wanted and I think it complements the color very well. We wanted to go for something light and natural for this house and we are very happy with how everything turned out. We ended up painting the entire downstairs one color and we did Sherwin-Williams Snowbound. It's a very popular color and I was trying to avoid picking this color because everyone has it, but I wanted a color that you can see the contrast between the trim and the walls and as well as our cabinets. I didn't want the walls to blend in with our cabinets. Even though it's all white, it's still different shades of white and you can definitely see the contrast. So this warm white definitely complements this flooring. I love it so much. We ended up going with a satin finish. Uh, I do have a kid, so I wanna make sure I can wipe off the walls <laughs> if we do have a coloring accident one day or just dirty fingerprints. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Our new couch is coming at the end of December. So all the furniture that you guys are seeing in the great room will be moved to the formal living room and we will have a huge sectional in this space. The built-ins next to the fireplace are also still not done. So we have to work on those. Fireplace is not done but it is slowly all coming together and I hope you guys stick around for the process. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.